Agritechnology brought to you by CanEquip. Visit us online at www.canequip.com. I'm Chad with Premier Farm and Home. We're out here at the Premier Farm and Home test plots for turf type tall fescue and our traditional K31 tall fescues. Uh, we're asked today to just kind of go over some new technologies regarding turf grass, uh, what's coming to Kansas and, and why we're shifting from our old pasture types that we use in our lawns to our newer turf types. Um, and as far as some of the technologies that are concerned with that, the first thing you'll notice is pure genetic color. The new turf type tall fescues are bred to be greener and have a, a finer leaf texture. That means the blade width is about half as long. Uh, the old, they also tend to grow about a third slower than your pasture types. Uh, so the idea is you have a greener lawn that doesn't need to, that doesn't grow as fast, doesn't require as much maintenance. Uh, also water usage is about the same between the two. Uh, maybe a little less just because of a little less of the demands on the growing conditions. So these two are kept under uh, low maintenance conditions. Uh, this is just kind of what you see maybe fertilized once or twice a year and they are fertilized east to west here or north to south here, not this way. So there's no difference in fertility or, or maintenance between the plots. Some other issues with these fescues, um, we know that cost becomes an issue whenever we're trying to maintain an area. Um, the cost of this is roughly twice the cost of your traditional uh, K31 type tall fescue. Um, however, you do have the reduced mowings, the, you know, the, the, less, the less expenditures on fertilizer to keep the color that you're looking for. Um, it also tends to be less clumpy. The overall density with these is much higher, a lot less cost in weed control, a lot less bouncing around when you're out there mowing. Um, I think that's important to all of you who have been out there uh, mowing these clump types. Um, so the, the main technologies that they've come through have been uh, pure genetic color. We're, we're, we're breeding them greener and finer texture. Additions of rhizominous tall fescues or what they call RTFs. Um, this is a, a, a property that you traditionally assign with bluegrass. The spreading type fescues are not bluegrass. They do not spread like bluegrass. They do tend to be a lot less clumpy. In agriculture, we immediately look towards uh, corn, soybeans, some of the common ones grown around here. Turf grasses are also a big crop, uh, mainly in the, the Pacific Northwest, especially with the turf types. Um, K31s are all grown all through Kansas, Missouri, and Texas. And maybe some of the things that we might see in the future around here as, as we start to shift from a, a pure agriculture economy to kind of a, a hybrid between the two. Uh, the traditional window for seeding turf grass is between the, the first part or the end of March going into about the 15th to the end of April. We've passed that window when you have ideal conditions for turf grass seeding. Uh, likely we can get it up, but having it survive our Kansas summers is another thing. Um, what we need to do now is just focus on researching for the fall. If you already have an established lawn, uh, now would be the time to put down fertilizer. Your grass tends to get a little stemmy, tends to lose a little bit of its color, and a, a dose of nitrogen right now can help uh, revert it back to that vegetative growth and get it a little bit more flush and green. Windows, a, a close and approach, just make sure that you continue to mow the weeds so that when fall runs around, uh, your ideal time frame is the end of August through about the 15th of October to get that new tall fescue seed in the ground and have its best chance uh, to survive its first Kansas summer after two seasons of growth rather than just one uh, as we find ourselves when we try and seed in the spring. Um, we're located just across from Forbes Field at 900 Southwest University Boulevard. Um, you can also contact us on our website at heycal.com. Click on the contact us or, or just give us a call anytime. Hey.